here at Gundam Planet, we're all about hashtag mustache goals. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing a review of the high-grade Turn A Gundam. Now, a fun fact about me is that the Turn A Gundam is one of, if not, my favorite mobile suit design of all time. I love how weird it is. I love how, like, like neo-futuristic the whole deal going on here is. It's, like, really, really cool. And I also uh, absolutely adore the Master Grade for this kit. MG Turn A Gundam is one of my favorite kits of all time. So I decided it's high time I took a look at the High Grade, which is a fairly recent High Grade. It came out in 2014. So I'm expecting some good things. So let's open it up and take a look. So first things first, just like a whole lot of white. Uh, this kit is mostly white. The, the suit is mostly white, so that's what you're gonna get. And it's a really nice white. And I could already see that these these parts already have a lot of detail going on. But I could also I could also already see that there's gonna this is gonna need a little bit of work in terms of coloring, as seeing as a lot of these it has the details, but it's not it's mostly just white. So I'm gonna have to look into that as I'm building it. Moving on. You get a little bit of blue here for the chest and the back, and this is a really, really nice blue. Uh, a, a sort of like brighter blue than we're used to seeing, and like it pops really nice, and I think it looks really good. But again, there's gonna be some serious panel lining and detailing going on for some of these parts, as like a lot of this should be able to move, but otherwise it's very static, so we'll see about that as I'm building it. You got your beam sabers here, standard beam sabers. Uh, you got some, you got some frame parts here, and it's all very weird because there's no nothing else like the Turn A Gundam. So expect to see a lot of stuff that you wouldn't normally expect to see, like these parts with the back of the legs. So that's all very neat, very exciting. I uh, got a little bit of red for its big old oval shield, which is very cool, and you got its eye parts and that sort of thing. A uh, really, really neat thing that you don't see is you got some white polycaps here, all white. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, most kits obviously just have the standard gray polycap, so this is at least something different, you know. <laughs> Over here, you got its, uh, you got its collar. It's got its, it's a fancy boy with his fancy collar. It's like he's wearing a polo shirt, you know. It's very, it's going to work. Very, very fancy. Uh, you got the clear piece for the cockpit uh, that just goes right over it, and then just another big fat white runner. So. Here's his uh, famous mustache over here, and there's a bunch more parts, all very nice and detailed. And that's the whole kit, other than, oh, you know, the stickers, which uh, a lot of it looks like you can uh, use some Gundam markers, but you also have the little turn A symbol for the head, and that might be a pain in the neck to put on, but uh, nothing too bad. And that's the whole kit. You got your manual here, and it doesn't really look like anything complicated going on, just... Your standard standard high grade build, but like it all looks nice. The colors are great, and the build should be uh, pretty simple and fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, I'm gonna go the start building. It. So I've finished high grade Turn A Gundam, and he looks really really good. Just like you know, the build process for this guy is a little wacky. Uh, it has some like standard high grade stuff, but like because of how unique this design is, it, it, it's pretty much going to take you for a little loop if you're used to building a lot of like standard Gundams or Zakus and stuff like that. It's uh, it's definitely different, but it was very satisfying, and it's a little more work than your standard high grade, but just like look at it, it just pops. It looks really good. It captures the likeness of the Turn A Gundam like almost flawlessly, and it, it's one of the more impressive looking high grades I've seen. And just definitely doesn't look like cheap or bad or everything looks the way it's supposed to. So I'm definitely very impressed with this guy. Uh, I already like the Turn A Gundam a bunch, so like a little, you know, I was a little predisposed to like predisposed to like this, but uh, I definitely think it's cool. So let's just get up close and we'll take a look at some more things about him. So here's the man himself and all of his stuff up close and personal. So we're just gonna go through all the accessories real quick. And starting off, you got his shield, his uh, signature shield. It's very nice and dropping everywhere. Very nice, very different than your standard Gundam shield. Uh, got some nice panel lines on there. And as you can, I'm sure you could already tell, this man has panel lines for days. Do those panel lines. I don't care how you do it, but if you don't do the panel lines, he kind of just looks like a big white blob. So, so hit him with those. I went with the black panel line because I really like the, the sketchy feel of the animation in the show. But if you want to go a little more subtle, hit it with those gray panel lines, whatever floats your boat, but definitely do them. So this is a nice shield. Really like that you can see through this gray here on the back. All good stuff. Moving on to the gun. The Turning Gun has a very cool gun. This, unfortunately, is not a very good representation of that gun. It's uh, 
not the end of the world, but it just kind of doesn't have enough detail. And these red stickers are garbage. I don't like them. I don't like them one bit. They're difficult to put on and they don't look right. And eh, not good. So the gun is definitely a little disappointing. You can pop this back off so you can put this back on and that way you can have it so it has the handle so you can have that pose of him grabbing the handle if you want if that's what you feel like doing personally i don't really need that so i'm just going to leave this handle on but uh yeah guns guns okay uh moving on to some other stuff you get two beam saber blades his beam sabers are stored on the back of his shoulders here it's got this little thing that pops up so you can pop the beam sabers out of there and the blade just goes in like a standard beam saber blade What's kind of unfortunate is that in Tarnay Gundam and the Masquerade has this, the, the Bean Saber Blades are really, really skinny and really, really tiny. Uh, these are just your standard uh, Bean Saber Blades that come in a high grade, so not the end of the world, but the, they definitely could have taken that extra step to make this a little more authentic, but not the end of the world. Uh, next thing up, you get another pair of hands, other than the grabby hands, you get some open style hands so you can do uh, some cool poses with that, but that's the only other hand set you got, but you really don't need anything else. They give you this uh, dinky uh, core flyer thing, and you have to paint it, and the manual tells you that you can put it on Action Base 2 and display it. If you really want to do that, I'm not. I don't think anybody ever will, but if that's something you want to do, you can do it. You just got to paint it. It's just two pieces of white plastic. Next thing, which we can talk about with one of the cool gimmicks of this guy, is these chess pieces. So the Turn 8 Gundam has uh, the chest plates that open up and there's like missiles in there. Uh, on the Master Grade, this gimmick was built into the kit because it's Master Grade, but here they can't do that obviously. So they give you this uh, changeable chest piece. And what's really cool is that, let me get my knife here to help me do this. It just slides out. Oh, I didn't even need the knife that time. Cool, so it just comes out really easy, but it also stays in there nice. So you don't have any risk of it falling out, but it just pops out and then you just slide the different one right on in there. And then boom, you have the different chest piece. So that's a really well executed way of doing this considering the price and the scale. But unfortunately you are gonna have to paint the chest piece if you wanna have it displayed like this. So that is a problem. But again, not the end of the world, I don't think. So let me just get that back on there. Okay, and then we are gonna move on to the articulation. So, first thing I wanna talk about is this guy is super, super sturdy. I don't have any problems with him falling apart or doing anything I don't want him to do, other than, like you saw, I just took the shoulder. So the way these shoulders work is they're separated to match up with the look of the robot, which does cause a problem by the fact that the shoulders stay in just with a very loose connection on the torso. So if you knock them loose, like, oh, oh no, oh yeah, it's a big mess. So that's kind of a problem, but just be careful. And if you do knock it loose when you're posing him, it's just easy enough to slide that back in there. So let's start with the arms. You get pretty decent bend of the arms. You have to fuss with the shoulder a little bit because it comes down like that. In a better world, this would articulate a little bit, but it doesn't, so oh well. But you still get pretty, pretty nice bend out of that. Uh, more than I could ever really see myself possibly needing or really enough to complain about. Uh, moving on to the torso, you have swivel there, real nice and tight. Oh no, that's, that's bad. Alright, so let's move on to the torso here. And you get a really nice swivel, it's nice and tight, so just a... Uh, Carefully move them, you get that full swiv all the way around, which is very nice. Uh, very little ab crunch to speak of, like you get a tiny little bend, but nothing, nothing great. So as far as the skirt armor goes, you can cut the front skirts as usual, so you can get that dual articulation there, which is what you always want, so you can get, get those nice kicks, you know, you want those kicks. Same thing with the side skirts, move right out of the way, uh, that gets kind of you can't really get a good side kick because the poly cap doesn't go high enough, so that's mostly what you're going to get out of the legs. But the skirt armor is all nice and moves out of the way whenever you need it. And like I was saying, the legs, nice kicks, a uh, really nice bend in the in the knee there. And you'll notice that the, the back of the turning Gundam's legs have these grating all over it, which is a really unique look. And it also helps with articulation because if you can see... When I move this bottom part of the leg, the grating in the back moves with it because when you put it together, there's actually articulation going on inside of here, which is super neat 
and a real nice bonus for the articulation. Like, it doesn't really do too much, but it's kind of just nice that it's there, you know? And then on the foot, you get, you can bend the foot all the way in like that, so you get him like he's like zooming and flying around. That's cool. And then other than that, you don't get too much movement in the foot because unfortunately, because of the design of these leg pieces, they kind of get in the way of any foot articulation. So that's kind of a bummer, but sometimes it just has to do service to the uh, design of the kit. And last but not least, you get your head here. Uh, this poly cap that goes in here is a little loose and his, his like very dapper collar up here kind of hinders his neck articulation. But I'm gonna let it slide because it's really cool. And no, unfortunately, there is no mustache articulation. There's no mustache articulation on the Master Grade. And there, I don't think there's mustache articulation on the real Turn A Gundam, which is the ultimate failing of this model and this robot. So here's my final thoughts on this high grade Turn A Gundam. It is good. It's very good and, and you should definitely buy it. If, you, uh, if you're really into high grades, then this is definitely something you should do. Uh, personally, I'm still still definitely going to recommend the Master Grade over this guy because that is one of the most unique kits I've ever built and it just is so, so perfect. So perfect. So if you like the Turn A Gundam, you owe yourself, you owe it to yourself to build that Master Grade. But if you like high grades and you prefer high grades, then this is one you can't miss. So much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my friend the Turn A Gundam here. Uh, be sure to uh, like this video, drop a comment, talk to me about Turn A Gundam, talk to me about this kit, tell me whatever you want to tell me. I don't know, whatever you got in your mind, uh, I love talking to you. And uh, be sure to look out for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We got them constantly coming up for you guys always got something new and also be sure to hit up our boy marsh sound on his soundcloud we have his link in the description he does all the music for these videos he does awesome awesome work so guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time <laughs>